I'm here at the Shack Art Center in Everett, Washington. I thought I'd take you on a little tour of the beautiful pumpkin patch display that's going so on right now. Here we are inside the art gallery and it's quite pumpkin-y in here. So I'm gonna turn you around and take you on there a little tour. Are just an incredible amount of pumpkins on display. All different colors different sizes and styles. They're just incredible. So I hope you get the chance maybe to pop up here and check it out. It's a safe activity to do with your family. But if not, then hey, I'll tour you around so you can see for yourself what it's like. There are also accompanying lovely fall themed artworks also for sale. A lot of talented local artists around here, that's for sure. Never thought I'd see so many glass pumpkins all in one place. These are cute pillows. That would be a fun project, wouldn't it? Photography. There's even a pumpkin face. <laughs> I thought these herons over here were particularly beautiful. And this scene of pumpkins on the farm. I love this guy. He cracks me up. And this beautiful moving through fall. I just think it's incredible. Look at those colors. Whew. some pumpkins here that are just so fun. They're crazy curly stems and they're awesome. Look at this fun glass. All sparkly. Look at that. And there are some huge pumpkins. Can't quite imagine making that. And, and if you're lucky, we are not, but if you're lucky, you might get to see the glass artists at work here in their studio too. Another benefit of coming up during the week. These ones over here are wowie zowie. I really like the stems on some of these. So fun. Wow. That pumpkin shape just calls out to be created in the form of glass. But there's also some gourds mixed in. <laughs> some fun different different shapes. Oh, look at these fun. This is an Edmonds artist, Mike O'Day. Look at those fun faces. <laughs> these will work cracks me up. This is interesting. This piece right here is called Eat or Be Eaten. And there's a piece across the gallery carved out of wood. You can see it over there on the other side. Also titled Eat or Be Eaten. I wanted to be sure to take you on a journey upstairs as well. There's a silent auction happening up there. I guess on the way we have to see some more beautiful pieces down here. <laughs> Look at the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Hi guy! Hanging out there with your mask on. Look at this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a trip upstairs to check out the artwork. Whoa. That is part of the silent auction happening here. <laughs> but first I thought I'd share with you some paws with a cause art. Oh my goodness, aren't those kitties so cute? And the puppy. Some fun animals I thought you might like. All right, let's head up here. Whoop. Some 
very fun work up here. All the work here is for sale and benefits the gallery's educational programs and scholarships. A few of the pieces have been sold already, but I have to say they are all way more cool in person than they are on the website. There's an online silent auction happening, but it's just really cool to see such a variety of art all in one place. So I've had a really good time looking around this gallery today, checking out all the different mediums people used, fun styles. It's just such a, a, a wealth of inspiration. So I'm a big fan of gardens, you know, so I really like these two pieces. And there's some fun of the way that people get creative with materials though. That's so fun. Seeing them the three-dimensional pieces in person is, is exciting. I like the kids in the bus back there. And that Egyptian piece is pretty amazing. Look at that more closely. Look at that. So many tiny pieces of cut paper to create this. Sculptural hanging piece. Pretty incredible. It's created by a former Edmonds Heights mom, Martha Soriano. It's beautiful. So many incredible artists creating these fun pieces. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you get to maybe come look for yourselves, but I hope this inspires you maybe to create something new and different. This is also by Martha, Red Dog. It's super cute. And of course there's some glass pieces up here as well. Wow, what an awesome, awesome collection of artwork at the shop right now. Okay, I thought I'd show you a little bit more about the rest of the gallery. Super amazing painting here and a whole theme of blue and black and white pumpkins as well. I think it's pretty amazing. Those wooden pieces or paintings on wood are pretty fun. Studio again. So go check that out in a minute. Okay. And in addition to all this work on display for sale, there's also an art gift shop that has even more artwork for sale. Okay, we got lucky. We've been mm -hmm. able to watch some glass artists in the studio here getting to work. One of the artists over here made a horse. And we watched him pull it and make it, and then he threw it away. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you gotta do that before it melts. Wow. It's fun to watch them in action for sure.